I hope you are doing well and welcome for today session. Today we are going to learn how to design a rising main or rising pipe in water jam. Okay? And the objective of this exercise is to learn how to design a rising main in water jam. As you know, and I believe you know, the pumping scheme, how it is. Is it? Okay. Look here. This is the typical model of water supply pumping scheme. Okay? This is a typical model of pumping scheme. Do you see? It has reservoir here, pipe, pump, again lazing, pipe, up to node. This node we can term it as tank. So we put here tank. Okay? And this side it is a distribution system. Okay? Now this is a typical pumping scheme model. Okay? So according to this exercise, okay, we are going to model a pumping scheme like he, this one here okay and the data for carrying out this exercise are as follows here okay there is a reservoir data here i will put here reservoir one and this tank i will name here as a reservoir two okay here i will name reservoir one as a source and the reservoir two here is a tank okay with this elevation okay again pump this pump here it has head and a flow or discharge okay with this okay values also i will put junction okay here at the corner here i will put here junction its elevation I will insert the elevation of 100 no 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 let me take here elevation of uh, this two four two zero the same as reservoir this one source okay I will use this one also on pipe data okay as we know here there is pipe one and the pipe two this one here so pipe one and the pipe two there is no pipe three okay delete pipe two three we have only two pipes okay the same dial this one thousand here okay which is okay here five meter here one thousand up to the reservoir two here okay and the material we will use PVC okay I will use PVC in this model okay so my friend these are data which are required to carry out this exercise okay I hope you understand what is the objective and what is the data for carrying out this exercise okay thank you now let's go to the software to start our exercise go to software here see here as usual we start to model go to layout okay on layout we have two reservoir okay and the one pump Take this reservoir here. Click reservoir. Okay. Put here. Okay. The next step P. 
pick pump okay go here do you see here pump click pump okay press here you see again take junction click junction okay again click here press here you see again take reservoir click reservoir you see again press somewhere here i want to press here okay click okay again right click click done okay now we have to join these nodes okay by using link which is pipe okay go to pipe on the pipe here <laughs> when you click pipe close click, click, click here you see there's a pipe and a lateral okay what is the lateral i will explain you next time let us go to pipe click pipe okay click reserve join to pump click to junction okay now here i don't want to go straight to reservoir 2 okay i want to go straight somehow vertical and then put some kind of bend to this one reservoir 2 okay how do we do that check here i don't want to enter junctions in between okay i want to have only one line or only one pipe from junction one to the reservoir two so because when we click here 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 it will have three nodes in between so i don't want to have node i only want to have only one pipe okay now click right click take bend you see now go straight like this one click here vertical click here click here then go in this way in this way in this way in this way up to here okay then right click click done right click again to cross the crawl cross the command cross okay now here we have pipe one pipe two pipe two three okay i hope you are together okay but then i remember that we deleted one of the row or pipe three okay let we go back again here we have pipe one pipe two so we need to have also pipe three okay let me undo here okay to be like this one now here it is okay okay because there we have three pipes okay yeah i remember here that at this corner i put node here as a junction okay junction one okay so that's why i turned back pipe three to be also in our model okay like this one here okay now after sketching this hydraulic model of raising main okay we need now to go to enter the data on each component okay first start with reserve okay reserve one here double click okay here we enter elevation okay go to our data here Elevation is twenty four hundred and twenty. Okay. Elevation it is how much here? Twenty four twenty. Okay. Cross. <coughs> is about two. Our data is twenty five hundred. Okay. Go here. Twenty five hundred again cross okay are we together 
Okay, thank you. Now, then let's go to another component which is pump, okay? On a pump we have head and the flow, okay? Let's go to the software here. Double click pump, okay? You see? On the properties of pump here, okay? We need to have pump elevation, okay? On pump elevation here, okay, head flow. Oh, I forgot to put something here, okay? Elevation of the pump, okay? Whether the pump is fixed, okay? Elevation, put the same as reservoir 2400 and the 20 in in, in what? In a meter, okay? Now insert this value here of elevation 24, 20. Okay. Now, how do we enter flow and the head of the pump? Okay. Pay attention here. Okay. Go to pump definition here on the physical. Go to pump definition here. Do you see this? Okay, do you see? Okay. Look here. Click here. Do you see? There is none. It means the pump is not yet defined. Okay? Click here. Okay? Click edit pump definition. Double click. Okay? Then it will open this one pump definition. Okay, are we together? Now go to this one new. Click new. Okay? This is pump definition. Okay? Now for me in this exercise we have one point. Okay? Which means it has only head and the flow. Okay? Now go to one point. Okay? To have flow eight liters per second head one hundred okay then close okay now return again to this pump definition click here select pump definition now it is now here do you see it was not here but after configuring the head and the discharge now it is appearing here. Now select this one. Okay. Do you see? It means our pump it is pump definition one. Where we put our head and the flow. Now it is now set on that pump. Okay. Close. Okay. How about junctions? Click this one. Junction. Its elevation here is how much? The same as pump 24, 20. Okay? Again, close. Okay? The next step is to enter the pipe data. Okay? Also, see here. Click pipe 1. Okay? You see? Double click. You see here, go to, we need to put diameter, okay, dia here, in a millimeter, how much, 150, okay, see here, pipe 1, diameter, 150, length, 5 meter, material, PVC, you see, these are diameter, these are length, and these are materials, okay, now go to software here. Now, pay attention here. Diameter we have entered 150 millimeter. Okay? Now, material by default it is cast, no, ductile iron. Okay? Now, in our model we need to use a PVC material. Okay? 
how do we enter PVC material? Okay? Pay attention again. Hello. Are we together? <laughs> okay, okay. Listen. See here. Click this one. Do you see here? You see? These are engineering libraries. It is where you can find different materials to use in your model. Okay? Now click this plus sign. Again, click this to expand. <laughs> you see? Now, these are materials which you can use in your model. Okay? There are many materials to use in your model. Okay? Common one which are used in water supply networks. It is ductile iron, HDPE, PVC, galvanized, and the minimum battery. For us, let we do as our model. It is PVC, is it? Now, select PVC. Click PVC. You see? When you click PVC, you select. It means it is done. Okay? Check. Select. Do you see material? It is now PVC. Can I repeat? Okay, I will repeat on the next thing. Pipe 2. Okay? Then here, you can close. You are done with pipe 1. Okay? Now pay attention again to the pipe 2. Okay? Double click pipe 2. You see? Now go to diameter. It is 150. Okay? Material by default, ductile iron. You see? Click here. Now listen again. Go to this one here. Do you see this one? Double click. You see? Earlier it was in this way. Okay? Now click plus sign to expand. It was also like this one. Okay? Like this one. Click here to expand. Click plus to expand. Okay? To collapse, click minus. To expand, click plus. Okay? Now, go to PVC. Click PVC. Click select. Okay? Now you are done with pipe. Okay? But we forgot one thing. Length. <laughs> we forgot to enter length. Okay? Return again. Pipe 2, its length is 10. Pipe 1, 5. Okay? Length of this pipe 2. Its length is some... Click true to enter your length. Your length okay? It is 10. Click cross. Return again to pipe one. Double click. Length. 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 Fourth. Click true. Into here. Five meter. Okay. Close. Close. Okay. Go to this one. Double click again. Okay. Pipe material diameter 150. Okay. Material. So you are now expert on this area. Click here. Select PVC. Select length. It is how much? 1200. Okay. Define this one. True. Enter here. 12, 1200, then close, you are done, okay, now the next step is to validate, okay, go to home, click validate, to see if there is error, okay, do you see, no problem where found, it means your model is okay, click okay, okay, Next step, you have to compute. Okay? Compute.
done okay close close do you see your model now it has been changed to this way okay do you see this arrow this arrow this arrow it shows that the water flows in this direction from reservoir one to reservoir two okay i hope we are together okay now the next thing is to insert annotation of length and the diameter okay i hope you understand that one because we did it in the previous video so my friend if you didn't watch the previous session on how to insert annotation in hydraulic model please go back to that mo that tutorial watch that one so as you can gain more because i explained there stepwise how to insert annotation now if you didn't see that one please go and watch the previous tutorial okay thank you for understanding okay now annotation here for pipes okay how do we insert that one now go to pipe click new annotation i need length 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 L equal negative two apply okay notation diameter We are done with the annotation. Okay. Okay. Now the next step is. I want to show you how to plot profile. Also, my friend, if you didn't see the previous tutorial, please watch again to that tutorial. Also, I demonstrated on how to plot profile. So here, how do we plot the profile here? Look here. See go to view click view click profile okay click here new select from the drawing from starting to the end click here open okay do you see do you see this <laughs> this is the profile of the rising main this kind of yellow is the pipeline elevation and this one is the hydraulic grade this one like a blue okay the pump it lift up to this one then it goes up to the reservoir to this is the profile of the rising main okay now you might be asking yourself how do we import export this profile okay you can go to this tab here here it is copy do you see copy you can copy it and paste it to your microsoft word okay or you can print you can print this profile okay now friend for this tutorial we have reached to the end now 
you have understand understood how to design a rising main in water jam i hope this video is useful for you and i welcome to the next session thank you and take care